Hey guys, welcome back to Super Gay Bros. I'm Lenny. And I'm Mike. And today we're playing one of my favorite games of all time, Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, one of the best games from 2008, if not the best game. It's a game about bowling. It's a game about cousins. Cousins. Um, but no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's uh, We feel like it's one of the uh, underappreciated Grand Theft Auto games. All the attention goes to Grand Theft Auto 5, but Grand Theft Auto 4, the jump from San Andreas to this was, uh, we thought at the time, was outstanding. Yeah, it was yeah. one of the biggest jumps in like technology it and games. It's like, overshadowed you know. for sure, but all right, Lenny, let's go ahead. We're, we're going to do the entire game. We've been wanting to play this for a while now. And, um, yeah. But what, are, what better way to do it than uh, with you guys? Yes, with our fans. We hope you guys have been well and You've been keeping safe, staying happy. We're uh, we're alive. Yeah, so that's good, at least um, you know. Um, but anyways, let's let's get started and uh, let's play some Grand Theft Auto Four. Perfect. I forget how confusing the uh, how confusing it is to start a new game in these games. Yeah. With the uh, oh, and I, we solved one problem that Grand Theft Auto always has. We put the game on my. SSD, so the load times are. Pfft. Can you believe that? Yeah. Remember back in 2008, it took like 10 minutes just to load the game. It's baffling. It is baffling. It's almost as baffling as trying to figure out where you got the money to buy an SSD. I know they're not that much. Hey, let's uh, just say I've uh, I pulled a few strings. I talked to Terry a couple times, and uh, well, he got one. He got me one for Christmas. So, yeah, Terry's a good guy. He pulls through. He's still help. Uh, he's yeah. He's still helping us out with the, with the videos, and he's still the editing guru. He's he's been editing the videos. Um, he's helping us where he can. He he. We used to be six months behind rent. Now we're only five months behind rent because of Terry. So he you know he helps out. This is just like. This is kind of like Terry's Saturday night, right? Pretty much. He got someone he met at like the gas station. Some just strange uh, Eastern European woman. Yeah. He met at like a casino or something. Or Circle K. Yeah. And this game here, um, if many of you don't know what it's about, it's Nico Bellic's story, an Eastern European immigrant escaping his past. Um, and uh, I think that sums it up, right? That's, that's yeah. Grand Theft Auto 4. And all this wackiness ensues. Mm -hmm. Story about revenge. Revenge. And uh, cousins. Cousins. Bowling. Bowling. Darts. Darts. Uh, what else? Oh, Jamaican friends. One of my favorite characters, Brucey. Brucey. The, uh, oh <laughs> steroid, the Roy, Roy head. Yeah. This game had so many memorable characters. I think, for me personally, this is the... Grand Theft Auto game that had like the most memorable characters. I think so too. Grand Theft Auto 5, it was good, it was great, um, but the, this game, this game always has a special place in my heart. Yeah. There's just something about the tone. Yeah. Um, it's unlike any Grand Theft Auto game that has come out in the past. Very, It's much more grounded and mature. I think that's a lot of people dislike this game because San Andreas was way wackier. There were jetpacks, aliens, and such. And then Grand Theft Auto 4, they tried to take a more realistic approach. They toned it down. And people didn't like that, apparently. We loved it. We thought it was great. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of people lo loved this one, you know? They, they loved it, but it's like... I think more people like the craziness of Grand Theft Auto. Understandable. But me, like us personally, we, we like the whole... Darker, darker story. Yeah. The ending of this game is pretty dark. Yeah. The whole game I think is Grand pretty Theft dark. Auto 5's ending is pretty dark too, right? If I remember it correctly. Uh, yeah. There's a, there's a few endings. <laughs> Anyways, how you, why don't you guys uh, tell us what you, how you've been, what you've been playing. You know, post them down in the comments. Let us know. There's been a lot of good games coming out recently, especially with the release of the Series X and the PS5. Or maybe you're playing something on PC. Did you get yourself uh, an RTX card? I haven't. I'm still looking for one. Yeah, it's probably going to be out for the next five years. I won't get one for a <laughs> while, you know. Oh, and another memorable character. Oh, yeah. If not the most memorable. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
you remember how excited we were when we played this? When we, I think we went to the midnight release, didn't we? Yeah. We brought it home and played it all night. Oh yeah, it was greatest moment of my it gaming was, life. Yes, it was very, very good. <laughs> Yeah, just going from San Andreas to this, it just blew my mind. Yeah, like the the graphics were just like <laughs> astounding. Yeah. And then they had the the text like in the game like that, like that was like next level. It is next level. Like when I saw that, I was like, you know, next gen has arrived. Yeah, text on on the world. Objects, yeah, <laughs> I'd have to say the Xbox 360 PS3 area was the. I'd say my my golden age of gaming. Yeah. After that, it's been kind of eh. live service games, microtransactions, microtransactions, Cyberpunk 2077, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> what a catastrophe! Oh yeah, the mansion. I love how uh, yeah Roman feeds Nico all this bull horse about. You know, him li living the life, the American dream, a mansion, and owning his own business. <laughs> yeah. And then he just, he lives in an apartment full of cockroaches. <laughs> he lives with the cockroaches. Yeah. God, it's just nostalgia. Does it feel good? Yeah. And it's only from 2008, too. That's the, <laughs> that's crazy. the thing about Grand Theft Auto 4. We were talking about adding mods and making it look a little more modern, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, we had a long conversation about that. Very long. It was like very what? long, heated 40, conversation. 48 hours of just arguing. Yeah. We got absolutely nowhere. Yeah, so we just decided not to put mods, just have it be the way it was intended. Conversation uh, somehow got, ended up, Lenny was berating me for still not having a job, and not having any income, but you know, that's just how this guy is. He, he, he just. He brings people down, you know? He kicks them when they're on the, on, down laying on the ground. I'm just trying to, you know, get your get, get your motivation going, right? I have plenty of motivation, dude. I'm just filled with motivation. And you, you like, belittling me just, like, just slowly takes it away. Like, my motivation every day, like, little and little goes, it vanishes. I just want the best for you, Mike. Sure you do. Really? Sure. <laughs> You know? I don't want you to end up like Roman living with the cockroaches. Well, so this is the mansion. I don't know. You're not doing a very good job. That is true, yeah. I shouldn't be talking. No, you shouldn't. You love the cockroaches too. Yeah. And giant, giant freaking rats. Did you see the size of the rat that lives in the bathroom? I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, I did. It was like the size of my fist. No, it was like the size. You have tiny little fists, so like five of those fists. Yeah, it was combined, like five fists combined into some muscular rat. It was big. It was it's big scary. Rat. So it's kind of hard to, to drop a deuce in the bathroom and fear for your life because you're, you're afraid that thing may come out of nowhere and just like, like pounce at your throat or something. That's why I just asked Terry if I can use his bathroom. But you've been doing that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know why. <laughs> Why didn't I think about that? I mean, that? he's not there 90% of the day, so... That guy's apartment is like... And he leaves his door wide open, That's true. so... His apartment is like so filthy, disgusting, but he has this thing where he keeps his bathroom. It looks like... Uh, I don't know. I would imagine like what the bathroom looks like in the White House or something. It's it's pristine, clean. I don't know how he does it. I don't know why. Man. I think he hires a maid. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe he gets one of his... People he meets at Circle K, maybe he pays him a few dollars to come down in you know, his we, bathroom. We do that every now and again. Like if you if there's something you don't want to do and you need it done, just go to Circle K, hire a crackhead, haggle with him, give him a fiver, or maybe like a six pack of beer. Tell him to go do this, and they do it no problem. They usually don't even ask questions. Yeah. They might steal food from your fridge and your your cupboard, but yeah, they but get the job done. It balances it out, you know. There's some pros, there's some cons to that system. True. Roman, you lying piece of shit. <laughs> Roman is one of the most lovable characters in Grand Theft Auto, though. Very lovable. He's just a sleazebag, though. 
Yeah, he's like those those that sleaze bag friend or the sleaze bag cousin. Yeah, that you love. To or the hate. or the sleaze bag brother that I have. That I have. I'm not a sleaze bag. I'm a pretty stand up guy. In fact, I'm so stand up I try not to talk during the cutscenes. That's how nice I am. Okay. And I also I also don't curse in the video, so Terry has more work bleeping out um, profanity. Gotta help Terry out any way we can, cause he's not doing so good. No. But then again, this cut, this very first cut scene is really, really long, so I guess there's nothing wrong with this talk. <laughs> You hear that? I did hear that. Our neighborhood, man. People are like, like getting stabbed across the street. Like it seems like every other night. Yeah. It's terrifying to go outside. It is. We don't go out at night. Yeah. I don't go out. Period. Mm. Unless I have to go to work. So Nico's in America for five minutes, and Roman's already got him, like doing chores. Right, pretty much. Yeah, can you come work in my, my taxi business? All right, here you go. Yeah. So do you maybe just want to like just straight story? Yeah. Forget the side stuff. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe we'll do some side stuff. If there's memorable ones we remember, then we'll definitely do the side yeah, stuff. Yeah, like the serial killer. First thing we need to do, we need to get a, a sick apartment. Yes. A sick apartment. Playboy X's suit. apartment. Remember? Yeah. You remember? You have to. There's a, a mission where you have to decide between um, siding with Playboy X or Dwayne. Yeah, it's a slippery, uh, slippery slope. Slippery slope. That choice. I like uh, Roman's um, artwork he has all over his walls. Right. The television. The men's room. Oh, the yeah. men's room. Yes. With Bass Rutan. That's a GTA 4 <laughs> staple. Yeah. Okay. Did you save? Yeah, I did. Okay. And oh, another thing this game did for Grand Theft Auto, it introduced autosave. It was the most amazing feature in a Grand Theft Auto game, I think, hands down. Do they? Yeah, this game. Does it have autosave? Yeah. Oh, I think they're like a little, they're kind of spread out though, aren't they? A little bit, yeah. GTA V refined it more and they put checkpoints in the missions, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna buy a hot. I'm gonna buy a hot dog. Do you have the money to buy a hot dog? Do we oh, have money to buy a hot dog in real life? I don't think so. No, I got twenty five dollars. So hopefully they're not. Don't spin it on a hot dog. What if you need like? Go okay. buy we'll some just, like new shoes or we'll something. We'll just run someone over and take their money. It's it's Grand Theft Auto, nah, Mike. That's true. I don't know. Whenever I play these games, I try to be like the the good oh. guy. You know, like even though they're just. NPCs, they're just a bunch of zeros and ones. Still, I feel like they have feelings. And, I know what you mean. You know? Yeah, I try to be a nice guy in ground. I don't want to take anyone's car or anything. Just did. And... That woman. Oh, she... you're right. I did. That oh. woman is, you know, she still has a few more months to pay off that car. She's thinking, I'm finally going to own this thing. I want to have a car payment. She... And you just steal it from her. She's got a few more months to pay off this car? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe she didn't take care of it. <laughs> take it to the car wash. Did she pay with Klarna they to have, buy this in four easy payments? Do they have car washes? Go spend your money on a car wash. Look, you got a brand new ride. All right. Five minutes in America, you already got a yeah. sick new ride. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. This is the American dream. <laughs> this is it. I wish I had a car. Yeah, right? Right? I'm sick of walking everywhere. Especially at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially in this neighborhood. The neighbors. Like, no, thank you. Ugh. <laughs> New York. <laughs> New York. New York love. <laughs> there, Grand Auto sharp writing. <laughs> I love Grand Auto. <laughs> 
Did they use that kind of language in Grand Theft Auto Five? I figure it'd be no, too I much. Think yeah. so. right. <laughs> only 2008. I know it's crazy to think only 2008. It was right? <laughs> much different time. <laughs> There's another reason we love this game. It, it was there was no filter. <laughs> It's another sleaze bag, uh, no. right? I'm a fat prick. What did I do? Pay you debts? I will, I will do, man. Who's book of this? No, we didn't. Nico's already building up anger. <laughs> then you say you're for all the batteries. You treat me like a bitch. Never. I don't treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? <laughs> I guess it's true. The beautiful woman do like the guy with the funny sense of humor. Ho, mm -hmm. <laughs> ho. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I know. And Roman, tell them. And Yokel here, if he doesn't stop staring at me, I'll have his head chopped up Yoko. and put a my bed on the internet! <laughs> Nico's already thought of hundred ways to kill that guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Look, say what you like, but who's that guy? I'll try to speak to him later. Yes, he's all charm. Come on, Nico, let's go. Darling, I First thing... First thing you should do, anyone that enters the United States, first thing they should do is go buy a pair of jeans. I just noticed Nico's wearing those Eastern European <laughs> pants. Yeah, those sweatpants. Yeah, he needs some jeans. <laughs> he needs some new threads. If anything, jean shorts. If you yeah. can find some jean shorts, then that's, that's totally American. Yeah, these, it doesn't get more American than jean shorts. Right. God, look at this traffic jam. It's, this this is, is truly is New York. This is New York, right? <laughs> traffic jams all over. Excuse me, Liberty City. You need money to do anything. You're taking me to a backroom game where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town. Ten minutes in America and Roman's already taken to an underground poker game. Boy, oh boy. I kick all the asses that play me. They call me the janitor. Because you can't pay your debts and they make you mop the floor? Never or what, no. Honey, no, I'm the janitor because I'd say Nico's one of my favorite I'll Grand Theft Auto characters. Yes, I think that's one thing a lot of people can agree on, right? They may think GTA 5 is the best, but Nico is the best yeah. protagonist. I'm playing with some money I meant to give to these Albanian scumbags. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. He's like, he's a scumbag, but like, he's a scumbag that wants to not be a scumbag anymore. And he's trying to get away from his past. <laughs> yeah. I guess I can relate to that a little bit. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Terry can definitely relate to that. Roman. That guy's yeah. done some really terrible. Nico What's up with this? <laughs> I, don't oh, yeah. I don't know. I can't tell if it was supposed to be like that. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink. Yeah, the thing about Terry, though, is like he's not trying to be a better person. No, he's just... He's just... <laughs> He's like a free spirit. He just does whatever he wants to do. He just loves doing scummy Regar things. Regardless of who it hurts, who he harms. Yeah. How will, I wonder if there's a first person mod for this game. I think there is, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me, right? Yeah. It's probably all janky, but it's probably I mean, it's, it works. Robin's already calling me to go bowling. <laughs> He's in there in a poker game. Look at that little reference there on the billboard. Die in your arms tonight. Where? On the billboard. Or that the building. Uh, I, does it say that? I don't know. DIY in your oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it says DIY in your arms tonight. It's reference to that song. Is that song even in this game? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. That's the I word. I just died in your arms tonight. That song? Yeah, that one. Oh. Except this one, it's DIY. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wise guys. Roman, you got some wise guys headed your way. You better get out of <laughs> right? there. They're gonna break your legs. <laughs> and he hides in the trash in the dumpster. <laughs> He's like, the guy's like, hey, get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. <laughs> He's already lost all his money. <laughs> oh. Shit, Nico, it's them. They must have been told I was here. Oh no, goons. 
And there you go. 10, 15 minutes into uh, the new country and <laughs> already getting chased. All right. By other sleaze bags. Look at that. Look at those driving skills. They already lost them. Right. Okay. That's another thing a lot of people don't care about in this game is the driving. I really don't see the issue. Because it's not like arcadey like Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah. I feel like more people like the arcadey style. But it is something they complain about. Mm -hmm. But it's uh... There sure are a lot of trucks in Liberty City. Oh yeah. You would think that would be like something a little more west. Yeah, like this car. Right? <laughs> Where everything would be a cab. <laughs> Yeah, just cabs everywhere right. when he drives a cab. Everyone's personal vehicle is a cab. Conjoined things. It's a TV show. Why does it do that? You see the camera? Yeah, are you holding on to anything? No. Hmm. Odd. Grand Theft Auto 4 wasn't a very good optimized port for the PC, from what I remember. <laughs> the guy. Oh, there's another thing too, this game introduced was the phone. Was oh the yeah, coolest right. thing that, ever. Was, that was pretty big at the time. Look. Oh! <laughs> Are they well, gonna fight? insurance. No? He's just gonna walk it off. Oh, it only shattered his hip bone, but you know, whatever. He must not be from New York. He's gonna go die in that alleyway. <laughs> from internal bleeding. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh shit. How do you turn off the radio? Oh yeah. Uh, um, you hold down right in the deep end. Wait, is that it? Are you sure? Because I can hear it. You can go to the options menu and shut off the music. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Great. Now the whole video has to be taken down. No. It's down on the D-pad. Okay. You yeah. hold it down. Sorry, because of the uh, copyright yeah. whatever, we can't have the audio or the music. Yeah, we can't have the great music. No, there is some good music here too. Yeah, even though they, they had to take out like half the music in this game because they lost the licensing for it or it ran out. So they took out Electronic Light, or Light Orchestra? Yeah, took wow. out a bunch of stuff. Did, wasn't that one John in this one? Yeah, I think I think he's still in there. Okay. They took out uh, Smashing Pumpkins. They took out a bunch of music from all the radio stations. Wow. That's crazy how game they had this video game. I don't know. They did the same thing with Tony Hawk. Really? Oh, really the, 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 um, yeah. That's another game I still want to play. Yeah. That's going to uh, bring back some memories, that's for sure. Yep. Back in the day when I... I used to pretend to skateboard and hang out with all the cool skateboard yeah, kids. And, yeah. and all I could do, the only trick I could do was fall on my face and shatter my <laughs> arm. Look how weird he is. Yeah, it's all janky. Look at this mess. Screwed again. You want to know why I'm not living in a nice condo? Banging for women? It's because of shit like this. Assholes. Threatening Shut me. up. Look. Melbourne. Hey, beautiful. Uh, yeah, great. Uh. Listen, I, I'm having a bit of a problem at the office. Um, I can do it. Nico can do it. Huh? A bus. Well, why would you want me then? Well, screw you then. <laughs> this is his <Hey>, girlfriend. <laughs> can you do me a favor? Mallory needs a lift. Uh, can you go and pick her up at the Hog Beach subway station? Yeah. Take the cab. She's got a friend with her. Oh, this is part where you meet um, Michelle? Mm hmm. Man, look at Michelle, who's also like in Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah. As the uh, it's a little Easter egg. FIB agent. Yep. 
All right, I, th um, I think it's a good stopping Is point for today. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, well, that was quick. Not much action, but then again, Lenny's playing, so uh, that's come to be expected. But uh, until next time, we will see you guys again soon. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one, guys.